This is a sequel to a video I posted a year ago titled How to Kill Grass for New Garden Patch Without Chemicals. In this video, I will show the results of that project in which we simply used black plastic and solar heating to kill grass and weeds without chemicals in preparation for making a garden bed extension. This is our rhubarb patch in February of last year. The goal was to enlarge this bed to create space for growing flowers. You can watch the previous video for more details, but this shows basically what we did. We covered the ground with black plastic sheeting and held it down with some old boards. We started this project on February 20th, 2023. By March 7th, you can see the grass was already turning yellow and starting to die. It's important to wait until the grass and any weeds are completely brown and dead before removing the black plastic and tilling the ground. Otherwise, the grass and weeds will start to grow again. April 6th, you can see the rhubarb growing next door while the grass under the black plastic is gradually dying. May 6th, rhubarb growing like crazy, but nothing under the plastic. This takes patience, but it is effective, as you will see. Unfortunately, I didn't get a pick of the dead grass. One day, after tilling the larger garden, I discovered the new flower bed was ready and didn't have time to run and get my camera before tilling it up. I think it was going to rain or something. It was June 12th when we finally uncovered and tilled the new flower bed. We kept the black plastic on for a total of three and a half months. If you are thinking of making a garden, but don't have time to do it all right now, this is a great way to get the project underway even a year or more ahead of time. Meanwhile, as you can see, we had placed a row of manure next to the rhubarb just because we needed a place for it and it wasn't ready to till into the soil, which we normally do in the fall. This ground is absolutely incredible. Look at this rich weed-free soil. Time to plant some flowers. We put in marigolds, celosia, a row of gladiola bulbs, and zinnias. Finally, we added some irises. July 10th. July 22nd. Notice there are hardly any weeds, and I did not weed this garden once all season. See the butterfly? July 31st, August 27th. In retrospect, it would look better with the gladiolas behind the zinnias next year. Meanwhile, I'm very pleased with how this project turned out. I hope it's helpful for you to see how we did it. Maybe I should mention we were in a drought last summer, which is why we didn't keep the grass mowed as much as usual. I do recommend that you try this project at your home if you desire more garden space. It's quite simple and a great way to accomplish the task without interjecting toxins into your yard. By the way, you may need to amend your soil with compost and manure if you live in a subdivision where the soil may have been disrupted by construction or if you have sandy or clay soil. We are blessed to live on rich Ohio farmland. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and tap the subscribe button if you'd like notification of future videos. Thanks for watching.